Hey, Larry Bailey here, Mortgage Workflow Partners. Do you have a bunch of people around you working out of Adobe, even though you have Encompass? Um, there is, uh, there are very, very, very few, extremely few uh, use cases for having to use Adobe when you have Encompass. Um, the one most typical use case is underwriters want to apply their signature to a document, specifically like a transmittal. Um, you can do that actually on a separate topic. You can apply signatures through custom input form merge code. We'll save that for another uh, segment. This one's all about using the e-folder the way it is designed to keep your, your team members inside of the e-folder. Um, two buttons that people typically don't explore, especially if you're the kind of person that's the Encompass administrator, but you're not the kind of person that actually does the, uh, does the work inside the e-folder. So let me show you what I'm talking about already. Uh, first button is Document Manager. The second button is File Manager. So what are these for? Notice that we've got these, these documents in here, and, and what we're seeing here is using standard conditions. If you've got enhanced conditions enabled, of course, you're just going to look a little bit different. But regardless, you know if it has attachments. Again, if you're using the new doc viewer, it'll look like a page with a world. If you're using an old doc viewer or this, the original doc viewer, um, nothing's old, it's just experience. Uh, the original doc viewer is the uh, paper with the sun in the, in the mountain kind of a thing. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. In any event, if your team is doing this, where they open up a document and look at it and then close, First of all, they have to wait for this to open, and then they go down here and they open it and close, and then they open it and close, stop, stop them, right? Um, like really, really stop them quickly. So let's look at a couple of things that happen here in the e-folder that you want to train your teams on how to leverage this. I've seen companies do this all the time. They do this, and then they go save documents as, and then they save it as something, or they hit preview, then they wait for Encompass because they want to look at all these things in one place. I'm telling you, this is happening right now, and we have to stop it. As a community, we have to stop it. Uh, and they go, oh, but Larry, look, you can, do thumb you can do thumbnails over here, and that kind of a thing. Yeah, no, let's not do that, please. What I want you to do instead is I want you to go to either Document Manager, Document Manager, the reason why this exists is because it's meant to assist with your teams. I'll put my head over here. It's meant to assist with your teams. So when they click on a, um, a document in here, and again, you can apply a stacking template, right? So if they click on this guy, it's going to present the document viewer. And the intention for the document manager is it gives your user the ability to see what is happening inside this file and specifically allows them to manage the document rele relevant to the condition. Underwriters typically love this. Um, so if, again, you still have the view original buttons here if you're doing that, you can still edit the file if you want to in here. But if I want to create a condition for this particular document, I can create this condition. And if I could type the word test, uh, you can tell it's end of my day, right? So now if I want to click um, close, right, I've created the condition, so I close. So I have this condition now um, in here. I can associate this, uh, this uh, bank statement document with this condition. So if I had this, this bank statement open um, and I wanted to uh, associate it with this underwriting condition, I can come over and um, now I can look at my conditions at one time. I can look at my documents also at another. And uh, if I want to look at the files, I can look at the multiple files. So please explore the document manager for loans that you have in process where you're working through them. Here's your annotations over here. Again, assuming you're using the new doc viewer. Um, so this is really a powerful mechanism um, to, to leverage. If I'm an underwriter and I come in here and I add a whole bunch of conditions, so let's just say I have these condition sets coming over, I have no idea what this is going to do, but I have all these conditions and I wanted to come in to this condition and I'm associating it, uh, I'm associating these documents with, these con with this condition. 
If I were to come in now in my documents and I click document manager, by the way, again, I can throw this off to the side. I can now look at, I can now look at my condition and what it's going to do is it's going to give me the, um, if I can now get the utility out of the way, thank you very much. So I can click on this document and now again I have this tied directly to the condition details all in one. So it's super handy to be able to fly through documents one after the other, whether they're here, right? I can, anything that has a paper clip over here, you can see, is going to come up over um, in this viewer. All right, so that's a document manager. You get the idea, totally appreciate it. Let's look at file manager next. Now file manager was created strictly for the purpose of splitting files. Like, so if you're the kind of position or the kind of person like in processing, ops, opening, correspondence setup, or even uh, closing, post-closing, where you get a bunch of files into a PDF, where you get a single file, um, and you need to break this thing down. So if we come over into, I'll use this Maven fail example, because we have multiple um, pages in here. Again, this is a new doc viewer. Um, but if I wanted to grab this over and, and throw it in, no, you know, it, it's easy to do. Um, there's a lot of people here who don't go into the file manager to manage over here. So again, you can throw this into a stack and you can break files down um, into different documents so that you can study to see what, what each of these thumbnails contains so you can figure out if it's in the right spot. But this is not where you would typically process out of. This is where you would typically set up your files to go into the correct documents because then you go back to what I showed, what I started with, which is the document manager. So I wanted to share this with you, this video, because again, there's a lot of confusion around why companies still need to have full Adobe licenses. There's one client that's saving about 800 bucks a month because they don't need all the Adobe licenses. So now they have an option if they want to keep using 800 bucks, they can go invest in other. Um, other technologies or, or other assets in the company to enhance their experience and their workflow. But this is just a small example, one example of the expertise that uh, I have here that I deliver to all our clients at Mortgage Workflow Partners. And we're going to continue this mastery series, Mastering Encompass. Stay tuned, huge announcements coming out to make sure that all of this knowledge that's been accumulating of using Encompass for the last 15 years and training people just like you on how to leverage Encompass to be super slick for you, out of the box native settings where you don't need plugins just to make things work the way you always thought they should work. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to our stuff, make sure you call us for um, either consultative a, uh, engagements or hands-on keyboard engagements. It's nothing like it guys. Mortgage Workflow Partners, thanks for paying attention. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.